while you drooled over Tesla's latest car for an affordable $35,000, you probably missed the HoloLens experience for aspiring astronauts, the tiny crawling grasping drone, and the DNA kit you can totally handle on your own. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where doing science on yourself generally does not go so well. Cinnamon. In the old days, to get us kids into science, we had stuff like... And... This Remco transistor radio I made myself. And this... Amazing lip balm lab from Wild Science. Wait, we can do better, and that's what Bento Lab is aiming to do with its portable DNA analysis laboratory. It packs all the essential tools you need for molecular biology a centrifuge, thermocycler, and a transilluminator so you can see what you're working with. The portable lab is already helping researchers analyze samples in the field and bringing low-cost DNA tools to students who would not otherwise use fancy lab equipment. It's like an Easy Bake Oven for a more gender-inclusive society because... Easy Bake Mini Wave delicious! Yeah, fuck that. Researchers took inspiration from a kind of beetle with powerful gripping mandibles when designing a tiny drone that is also a crawling robot. Yep, it's everything. The Pico bug can also grab things and has AI trajectory tracking because it may be little, but it's also smart. That means it can switch from crawling to flying on its own to clear obstacles. God knows how they'll be used one day, but you gotta admit, if this is what the spy switched to, at least they'll be adorable. Good spy uses testing. Ow! Oh, gosh, you're too close. NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab has been using Microsoft's HoloLens to figure out where they'll send the Mars rover next, all as if they were standing right next to it. And because they love us, NASA is bringing the same immersive experience to the public as part of its Destination Mars exhibit at the Kennedy Space Center. Visitors will wear HoloLens headsets and be regaled with stories from Buzz Aldrin and members of the Mars rover team while standing on a simulation of the Martian surface. Until we can get to Mars itself, Florida will have to do. And that is despite the shenanigans the state is known for. Have you seen that Twitter account? Not so into it. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you because we find it fascinating. The New Horizons spacecraft may have discovered a former lake on the surface of Pluto. Tidal revealed it has only 3 million paid subscribers to date. Microsoft unveiled ambitious plans for online helper bots at its Build Developers Conference this week. The FCC is expanding its lifeline broadband service for low-income Americans. And a hacker claimed he helped swing the last Mexican presidential election. I'm sure U.S. politicians are very interested in his claims.